Solar thermal, solar heating and cooling is very simple. Solar is simple. It's almost black and white. It's a little bit more complicated than black and white, but not quite. Dark gets hot, right? So you're wearing a black raincoat. It's going to get hot in the sun, all right? <laughs> Somebody who wears a white shirt, they're not going to get as hot. So dark gets hot, light reflects, foil, silver, all that stuff reflects better. Okay, the last thing which makes it more complex is clear. Clear keeps the wind out. All right, so the simplest thing this two liter plastic bottle filled with water. This is used around the world by people to disinfect water. You put, fill this with water, put it in the sun for maybe six hours. UV radiation disinfects the water. It gets hotter. It also helps disinfect. So this one will be marginally hotter, but it'll it get less UV. So it's not so good for disinfecting the water, but it's good for getting hot water, hotter water. So again, light reflects, dark gets hot. This is a, uh, a planting device that I made from, again, recycled materials. And you fill these with water face this towards the south, you put a plant in here, and you can plant six weeks, a month earlier. So I've put out tomato seedlings a week or so ago in those things, and that'll survive and go. This is a collapsible water jug. I used recycled dark plastic mailers, and this will get hot. It's a cheap version of this. All right, you fill it up with water, you hang it from a tree, you get a hot shower. Same kind of thing. This is uh, close, about 135 degrees right now. All right, garbage, garbage, garbage. Right? This is a snack food bag, potato chip bag, popcorn bag, inside aluminized mylar. Reflective material. Let's see if I can open this up. A dark pot. Clear keeps the wind out. Exactly. And as I say, this is about 135 degrees from garbage. Now, in the refugee camps in Chad, where the, the, the Darfuri refugees go, there are a couple of groups that are teaching people how to use these kinds of things. You can use an oven bag. I don't know if you've cooked with that. And a dark pot. And the other thing they do is they use another old technology, which is a hot box. Does anybody know what a hot box is? A hot box is an old, old technology, probably goes back to the Middle Ages. And all it is, is an insulated box. What they used to do is they would take a stone, put it in the fire, get the stone hot, take the stone, and then put it in the hot box, put a pot inside that, cover the hot box. It's an insulated box. You've got a heat source from the hot stone, and you have a slow cooker. That's how they used to do crock pots before electricity. So this is what they're doing in the refugee camps. They heat the food up in the, hot, in the, in the dark pot. 
then they put it in an insulated bag and they let it cook slowly that way. This is another cooker and this one this one just won an award $75,000 and again chip bag it's a plastic uh, a, a cardboard box with another cardboard box inside and again black plastic right and I'm using uh, the popcorn pellets the packing pellets for insulation so it's an insulated box reflectors dark and clear all right and inside there that's about 125 degrees right now all right so somebody won $75,000 for that as an award from uh, a group that was looking at sustainability. This is very simple stuff. Some of you may have gotten this in second grade when they were talking about solar energy.